Hi everyone. In this video, I'll demonstrate an oscilloscope based on the Nexus 4 FPGA board that we built for a digital systems class at MIT. Our oscilloscope supports two channels and can display signals up to 100 kilohertz. The FPGA is currently connected to two function generators through its auxiliary analog inputs. At this moment, only the first function generator is turned on and it's outputting a sine wave with a frequency of 1 kilohertz and an amplitude of 100 millivolts peak to peak. We can also display other types of signals such as square waves or ramps. The number on the left indicates the volts per division and the number at the bottom indicates the time per division. Now let me walk you through some of the features we implemented in this project. We can adjust the trigger level. And as you can see, if the trigger level is above the maximum, then the oscilloscope can't display a steady signal. We can also scale the voltage and the time axis. So if I scale the voltage axis by one half, you'll see that the volts per division becomes two times what it was originally. And if I scale the time axis by one half, you'll see that the time per division becomes two times what it was originally. And I can continue scaling the time axis and the voltage axis if I wanted to. We also implemented some logic to display the maximum and minimum values of the input signal. So as you can see, the maximum of this sine wave is around 56 millivolts and the minimum is around minus 56 millivolts. We also implemented two cursors. So I can move cursor one up to the maximum of this sine wave. There it is, cursor one at 48 millivolts. And I can move cursor two down to the minimum of this sine wave. And there it is, cursor two at minus 49 millivolts. Now, I'll turn on the second function generator to demonstrate two channels. And this function generator is outputting a sine wave with 2 kilohertz frequency and an amplitude of 50 millivolts peak to peak. If I flip a switch, the oscilloscope goes into XY display mode. And in this case, it displays a Lisa Juice curve. And if I increase the frequency of the second sine wave by one hertz, we see this cool moving Lisa juice curve. And here's what it looks like in normal display mode. Finally, we implemented some logic to display the fast Fourier transform of channel one. So if I flip a switch, we go into Fourier transform mode. So right now I'm displaying the fast Fourier transform of a one kilohertz sine wave. I can increase the frequency of the sine wave. There's the fast Fourier transform of a 250 kilohertz sine wave. And I can increase the frequency further to display the fast Fourier transform of a 500 kilohertz sine wave. And now I'll go back to one kilohertz. I hope you enjoyed seeing our project and thanks for watching this video.